What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, the reason we're, we're mainly here is because of two things. First one, whoosh, I found a ice cold Red Bull in the fridge. I haven't had one since the last time we filmed a video, but I really needed this thing just to wake me up and get this going. Second thing is UPS, FedEx, whatever. One of them just dropped off this box right here and believe it or not, oh, there's my phone. I've been looking for that thing. Only working with 8.4 ounces to begin with. We just lost about an ounce right there. I'm an ounce down. Damn it. So you're probably wondering why are we looking at the OG Sequoia right now? What's up with the thumbnail? Uh, I know this guy named Noah. Now Noah claims he watches my videos, but he drives a Honda Accord and he's just not a car guy. So I'm not buying it. Noah, if you're watching this, I hope I represent your story 100%. Catalytic converter thefts are, are out of control many places. And, uh, but here in Santa Cruz where we're at, we're, we're actually pretty safe. I haven't really heard of too many, but every night on the news, right over the hill in San Jose, Oakland, I mean, people are like losing their lives over these things. Just today, a man confronting catalytic converter thieves was shot and killed in Oakland. After confronting thieves who had stolen a catalytic converter from his SUV in Oakland. But I don't really think about it too much. About four or five weeks ago, my buddy Noah texts me, uh, in the morning, super early. Hey, I think there's something wrong with my car. And, uh, and I watched the video and instantly I knew that his Cadillac converter had been stolen. I think that 100% he genuinely thought that there was just a mechanical problem with his car. Anyways, what he has gone through over the last five weeks um, is, it's, it's been mind boggling and it's gonna be super expensive and mainly because we're in California here, but you don't even wanna go down that road of having your catalytic converter stolen. Uh, and what's worse than one is two. This thing has two huge, beautiful catalytic converters. And, uh, and the thing is, I don't even think, even though this thing is absolutely beautiful, uh, I don't think it's worth a ton of money. And I think if the cats got stolen, the insurance company would probably just, just total it out, salvage it. I'd never be compensated for all the stuff I've done to it. Not that, that when you do stuff, you expect to get anything back. Uh, but it, it would, it would be a big bummer. So Miss Fanatic, uh, speaking of Miss Fanatic, today is her birthday. Uh, if, if, uh, if anybody wants to guess how old she is, leave a comment down below. How old is Miss Fanatic? Let's see who gets it the closest, but today is her birthday. She's at work, but she's coming home in a little while, but her Sequoia, the second gen, uh, platinum that she has, um, there's probably 10 or 15 companies that make cat shields, uh, skid plates, all this stuff for that. Um, there's only one that makes it for a first gen Sequoia. And it's this company right here, Skid Row Off-Road. And this isn't just a cat shield. It's actually a full blown gnarly piece of armor. It's a transmission skid plate. And then it has these two pieces that come up on the side um, that will protect the catalytic converter. Sold that skid plate for a really long time. And if you have the older model, then all you have to do is drill new holes um, to accommodate these cat shield things. But this is the newer model. This is the whole package, uh, supposedly three pieces in that box right there. So it's kind of like killing two birds with one stone because uh, not only do we get a killer transmission skid plate out of it, but, uh, but we can protect our cats. Now, uh, I, saw, I saw a picture of it online, how it works, and it kind of looks like, well, you guys will see soon when we put it on, but it looks like you could just grab onto it and just kind of bend it down a little bit. But uh, I saw a video online and, and that is not the case. Uh, it is, this thing's pretty gnarly. Um, of course, it, it, you know, if somebody had a bunch of tools and time, they're gonna get a cat off anything. Um, but it, it, this thing, I don't think would be worth um, wasting your time. Hopefully they would just move on. So um, that's what's in that box right there. We're gonna open that thing up in a second. But first off, the T100 has not even been acknowledged in the last couple weeks. Seriously, like just over two weeks, just sitting right here. So people have been with the channel for a while. This is my neighbor's, um, what is it, a Nova Super Sport? It has a full on Corvette drivetrain. Can't fault me for not knowing GM stuff. As, I, as you know, I'm a Toyota fanatic. So it has a Corvette engine out of like a 2012 or 14 Corvette. What was that, an LS4 or something? And that's his new project actually behind it. He, uh, we're taking a better look and I'm not even having to invade his space. So this thing right here, does anybody know what this thing is? He got it just maybe a couple weeks ago. It'd be really cool to see what he accomplishes with it. Built this thing right here from the ground up. Everything um, himself. Yeah, anyways, I, I don't know, a Lotus Cortina. Oh, that smell. There is no way to describe 90s Toyota 4x4 that is the most incredible smell in here. It's just been marinating in the, in the warm, is it fall? Yeah, I've, I've never gotten my seasons down. Should we fire this thing up right now or should we uh, check the oil? Do you check the oil before you fire it up or you check the oil, like you let it run for a few minutes and then you check the oil? 
You know, I, I really don't know what the right answer is on that one. I mean, if I check it right now, it's cold, so all the oil's, you know, gonna be there. If we check it when it's hot, you know, that's good too, because it's been running, so we get like more of an accurate, you know, like, all right, let's check it now and then fire it up. See if we got a napkin in here. Yes, we do. There's the power plant right there. The old 5VZ FE. This is actually one of my favorite Toyota engines ever. And you know what? The truck is on a slight bit of a slant. Yeah, that is really full. I don't remember it being at that full of a level, but there's really nothing I can do about it right now. I'll just recheck it. Uh, when it's a little bit, I mean, I don't know if you guys can, I don't know if you guys can tell, but we are definitely on a, on a little bit of a slant that way. Huh. Weird. Ready for the most annoying buzzer sound in history? Just, look at that. You don't even have to, you don't even have to make much contact for it. it sounds like on like a game show when you got the wrong answer. It's like, uh, yeah, that's my final answer. And then you hear that noise. And you know you're wrong. Clutch in. Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, all right. Look at that oil pressure going up. We got some fuel in here. It's only 356. I mean, it feels like it's sun's about to go down. Can't show you guys what 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 we're playing in here. I'll get a. I'll get a copyright strike. 205, 898 on the odometer. Uh, I'll, I'll do the math later, but that's not too many miles per year considering this thing's a 97. We'll let this thing run for a minute. I'd take off and take it for a drive right now uh, if I wasn't filming a video and the sun wasn't gonna go down soon, but I really wanna open this up right here. All right, I think that's good. I just wanted to uh, get its juices flowing and uh, I'm, I'm gonna drive this thing soon, I swear. You know, I, I love this truck, it's so fun to drive. It, it's, just, it's just a blast, but every time I go to leave uh, and I, I, I go to hop in this thing, I just think of that stereo and the fact that it just has two speakers right here. And then in the OG Sequoia, we got this. The whole system I have in here is, is probably one of the best systems I've, I've ever had. And when you drive this thing, um, basically you're just driving it for old school uh, Toyota V6 with a Flowmaster. This sounds so good, especially that it's a manual trans. So when I drive this thing, I like listening to the engine, uh, but this one, it's like, you just, you get to get, uh, Get to get some quality time in. I really, I'm not one of those people when I drive around that talks on my phone at all. Uh, when I'm in the vehicle, I am, I'm listening to music. All right, let's lock this thing up. Oh, no, no key fobs here. That's what you do, the twist and check. All right, with no further ado, let's open up this box, huh? God, let's keep losing that thing. Look at that. That is some heavy duty armor right there. Wow. This, this thing is just, that is some shit. Oh, jeez. And these are the pieces that go up on the side. All right. And then these pieces go on here, something like this. You see that? There we go. This thing's gonna go up uh, right here. So they can still cut the back of it, but uh, they won't be able to cut the front. Worst comes to worst, you'll have to get that seam welded back up uh, if they cut uh, on one side of it, but they won't be able to get the front part and therefore will not be able to get the catalytic converter out. So anyways, um, I don't know if I have enough time to throw this on right now. Like I said, it's Miss Fanatic's birthday. She's gonna be home. We gotta go do some stuff. 10 seconds later. Huh? Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I love you. Okay. I'll call you later. How's it going? Good. 
Happy birthday. Thank you. Do you need me to close the rear gate for you? Please. Well, all right, everybody, I tried. I asked Miss Fanatic if we could postpone her birthday dinner so we could uh, throw the skid plate on together. Uh, she said that's gonna be a no-go. So it looks like we're gonna wrap up the video right here, but I think tomorrow's gonna be a beautiful day. So we'll throw that thing on tomorrow, see how it fits. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. Everybody drop a big old thumbs up for the channel. It would be much appreciated. And we'll see everybody soon. Peace.